Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. There's the whistle. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. He spotted the run and played him through. And that has been clubbed away. Forward it goes. Well played, he saw that coming. Goes long. Uh, he's not going to get that. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Walk forward. What does he try from here? Hit into the middle. Ronda is there to take. Good idea, just poorly executed. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Had a shot. Oh, what a wonderful stop. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Portimonense going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Face to face, shot a goal! He's got away with one there. Hoists it forward. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Ronda deals with it effortlessly. And the whistle goes for half-time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. And we are up to the break. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end. And I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained. So I'm looking forward to what's to come. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. And we're already back on the way here. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. A 1-0 lead established. 
Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Has a goal! Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. so far Jim well, they may be down but they're far from out in terms of chances they're right up there with these opponents gets wrestled off the ball Martinez Mauricio gets good distance on it Well, to step in there, that was more than necessary. Just brushed off the ball there. Mauricio plays it forward. Great challenge, time to perfection. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. You felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. And here's Martinez. Portimonense probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. That intervention was very necessary. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Goes for goal! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product. With... And that's that. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. I've been in this position myself, and this will be difficult to take. They did everything right but score, but at least I suppose they can reflect on a few positives from this one. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.